Hello everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation. And in this video, we're gonna go over my Platinum Sump install. As you can see, my old sump had a lot of clutter, so I made the decision to upgrade this one and the 300. As you can see, there's a number of things in here, and I just wanted to clean everything up and get a fleece roller that was combined and give me some more room. So I needed a little help, so I called on my friend Aaron, or Desert Reef Aquatics, to help me with a number of things on the sump. Now first we had to get the ATS installed. So what we ended up doing was we ended up drilling two holes on the sides here uh, into the area that the fleece roller goes into, which allowed me to have an emergency and the main drain going right before the fleece roller, which I thought was a great idea. So that's what we're doing here. So by doing this, when the algae surf scrubber you know, has any loose algae or anything was to come out of the turf scrubber, it's going to go into the compartment where the drain is for the main tank, which is then going to go into the filter roller. So we thought this was the best idea. We were able to put two one-inch bulkheads right here, um, right before the fleece roller goes in. So there's the bulkheads, and then you'll see there's a little hole, basically, where the water goes in to the fleece roller right there. So how to end it up is we got these two pipes that are going down from the algae turf scrubber and then we have the emergency and the main drain going up to the top there. So we put the unit together up here and you can see that there's a red tube right here and there's a blue tube in the back. Now the blue tube is my ATO which gets fed right into the reservoir that's in the back and then I also added the red tube which is salt water from my salt water mixing station. So that's how I get fresh salt water into the tank. And then behind that, there's also a black tube, which feeds up to the drain. Also, there's where the probes go in a really good spot. It's not very turbulent there because the water comes out of the filter roller at the bottom there. So here's the finished product. Um, you'll see I put some bio um, nanotech balls right there in the media basket area. Also have my Tim's Waste Away sticks that I use for bacteria. Uh, the skimmer fit really nice. Um, it's got a removable um, divider that's really neat in the middle there. And also I have my Miracle Mud there and the new Sigma reactor which is currently doing uh, carbon for me. And I really like that new Sigma reactor, which I showed on a live stream. And there's a filter roller. And that's pretty much how everything turned out uh, overall. So you'll see here where we plumbed the algae turf scrubber into the two ports that we drilled um, right there. And then we have the auto top off input right there with the blue tube. Um, and that's where my auto top off comes in. Um, you'll see next I have the float. That's where the float goes. You can raise that float up and down to your needs, um, but really slick system. And also like the Triton series of their sumps, they also have the dosing tubes here at the top, um, which are really helpful. I added a couple as well. So I'm dosing the three, the big three, and aminos and phyto using those. So here's a couple pictures of the install. Um, this is when we first put the sump in to the system. And here's the final product with everything installed. Um, turned out to be a very um, labor intensive install, mainly because of the plumbing for the algae turf scrubber and getting everything where we needed it. Um, but overall, this is a really great sump. Um, it's a little bit pricey. I believe this one ran me about $900 for the smaller, I believe this is the 34 inch. Um, but having the filter roller built in and the fact that it is a 10 inch filter roller and it's gonna last a lot longer than what I had before. Uh, the fact that now my algae turf scrubber is going into the filter roller so any loose algae is gonna get caught um, is great. Um, the Sigma reactor that I added, I really like it and it's made by Aquamax. Um, it's an in sump reactor, um, so you don't need to plumb it in any way. Um, so overall, everything turned out really well. I'm really happy with everything. I give Trigger Sumps a lot of credit for building this. Um, it's really well built. 
I had a couple issues with the controller in the back, and right now it seems to be working just fine, but um, the filter roller did just go and go and go for no reason, and I think I figured out the reason. So it's got a sensor on the right side, and it's also got a sensor inside the filter roller, which basically shuts it off if the water level gets too high. So that's a really neat feature. And I was having an issue with one of the sensors, um, but overall I've been really happy with it. It's really well made. It's very universal. You can add a lot of different things to it if you want. Um, I'm gonna definitely uh, give this a thumbs up. We did the 300 as well. Um, it turned out pretty much the same, so I'm not gonna post any pictures of that, but it basically turned out the same. Um, so I'm really happy with it and uh, very happy with how everything turned out. And I really want to give a big thanks to Aaron over at Desert Reef Aquatics for helping me with everything. So hopefully you liked this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.